It's pushing hands four. We're going to do stepping. Uh, we went over pushing hands three with the change of direction in vertical plane. So we're going to start with that, just to remind you, and then we're going to do the stepping. Okay? We're just going to do pushing hands three to start with. Here we go. So this is where we change over and come back. Now at that point, you'd step back to enhance the pull. So we're going to actually change to pushing hands four now, which is I step back and then walk forward. Like that. Now with pushing hands four though, it's actually better for me to have the opposite foot to Vince, because we actually, believe it or not, we actually end up doing the same thing then. Whereas we're not doing the same thing. It's a complicated thing to explain, so I'll just carry on. Um, so if you step forward, Vince, I'm going to step back with my right foot, and then expand back as he expands forward. So he's expanded forward, I've gone back. I push. He expands back, I expand forward. We're going to exaggerate it a little bit here. So a big expansion forward, big expansion back. That's too big, but it's just to show you clearly there. You can do it at various depths. Um, so I'm doing small steps at the moment. I'm going to do a bigger step. So this is really great for your health because your legs are pumping blood around your body for you, you're changing your body weight and moving it forwards and backwards. Now we've got rather a complicated uh, changeover now because what I'm going to do is change it to the other side. Okay, we're going to now do the change of sides. In other words, Vince will start with his right. We're going to do three rounds, which I'll explain what a round is in a moment. Uh, and then we actually do two pushes so that we end up swapping feet and hands. Don't worry about this. It might take you quite a while to learn, uh, but uh, just take your time. Okay? Try and pick it up. If you practice uh, the previous pushing hands, pushing hands three and four, uh, quite a lot, um, you'll get it. Okay, so uh, off we go. So that's the third round, this is the third round. So now I'm going to push twice. Both towards this head. Now I will narrate the movements. After three rounds, I will push twice, once, twice. Now Vince has pushed, he's pulled, that's one round. This is the second round, this is the third round. Now Vince is going to walk forward twice. And again, we do three rounds. That's one, two, three. After the third round, I push twice. This enables us to keep changing hands. If we did it only two rounds, we wouldn't change hands. And if we did it only one round, it would be too confusing for people to learn. But we could do it at random. It assimilates someone attacking with two punches instead of one, but it's also an interesting mind exercise and to sense what's happening and keep going. Excellent for your health, excellent for your brain. Just try and copy. It is difficult, but you can always play it in slow motion. I'm now going to replay this in slow-mo without the narration. 